All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our 1316 homework number seven in my lab math. The letters X and Y represent rectangular coordinates. Write the given equation using polar coordinates. All right, so here's basically what they're asking us to do. They want us to convert this equation into terms of R and theta. They don't want any X's and Y's. They want everything in terms of R and theta. And so the formulas that we're going to make use of here, X equals R cosine theta and Y equals R sine theta. And I'm going to put those in a box because those are definitely formulas you need to know. So what does that mean? That means for every X, I can replace it with R cosine theta. And for every Y, I can replace that with R sine theta. So here I have X squared. I can replace that with R cosine theta squared. And then 17 times Y, I can replace that with R sine theta. Now, since the R cosine theta, those are two separate factors, the squared is going to apply to both of those. So simplifying that would give us R squared cosine squared theta equals 17 R sine theta. Now, does that happen to match any of our answer choices? Okay, I'm noticing that all of our answer choices say equal to zero. So let me come over here to what I've done so far, and let's make that equal to zero by bringing the 17 R sine theta to the other side. And remember, if you bring something across the equal sign, it makes it change sign. So that'll become minus 17 R sine theta now equal to zero. And now does that match any of our answer choices? R squared cosine squared theta mi minus 17 R sine theta. I'm thinking answer choice C is the one that matches. And we're done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.